welcome uh, everybody to the uh, first girls rugby match of the season, the varsity match, uh, Belmont in white to our right against Lincoln Sudbury here at Harris Field. Um, and uh, slightly delayed kickoff today. I don't know what the time is now, 6.30. My name is uh, David Hamer and uh, with me in the commentary uh, today is uh, Charlie Conroy, and uh, as ever, we're ably helped and served by Jeremy Maserve, who is from Belmont Media Centre, so thanks, Jeremy, for making this possible. Right, Belmont with the kick. Charlie, welcome. Thank you very much. It's great to be here on my debut. Uh, lovely evening as we watch the first game of the season, so very excited for the girls out there. Yes, and so uh, with the first game of the season, some... New faces on the field, so uh, we have the rosters here, so we'll, we'll try to call out and give shouts out to players from both teams as they as they make uh, their way through this match. Um, we'll also do some calling as well of what's actually happening, because for some of you this might be new. And the first call is a, a penalty to Lincoln Subbury, so uh, I'm not sure, Charlie, I didn't see the infringement, but the referee determined a penalty was called for, so Lincoln Subbury basically with the free ball here. Yeah, I didn't catch it either, so we'll, uh, we'll, we'll try and point out some of that going forward. Good tackle, Alex Townsend. So Catherine Negrelli there is uh, running yes, up on the, the wing uh, for Lincoln. Actually, a forward pass. So the referee with that signal indicates there was a forward pass. So that's Lincoln Sudbury, obviously. Uh, not obviously. Some of you won't know this. Rugby... The ball can only be passed by hand backwards. And so the ref signal there very clearly that the ball went forward. And then to restart the game at such an infringement, the ref starts the game with a scrum. Might give us a chance to introduce some of the some of the pack, the front eight that are here forming in the scrum. So uh, along the front uh, of the scrum is Shea, Campbell and Annika. That was a pretty good solid scrum there, <laughs> David, I think. They held yeah. up well there. Yeah. Sadie Taylor. Oh, and Belmont. Oh, Lincoln Sudbury have pushed Belmont off the ball. That's good play. Oh, okay, collapsing. So, here's another penalty to start our season. So, uh, he's indicating to Lincoln Sudbury there, Charlie, I think that they were probably off their feet, so... Right, it may be worth noticing that when when the two teams go in standing upright, that's called a it's called a maul, and you can't collapse the maul. You have to kind of keep the maul upright. And I think he was indicating there that the Lincoln team may have tried to collapse that. Yes, they were certainly lying over the ball. So our first line out of the game. So uh, teams have a choice at those uh, at those penalties, and and one of the choices is to kick the ball to touch the sideline and then that gives you the opportunity to throw the ball to throw the ball in as uh, Alex Townsend here is doing and uh, so not not straight a lot of calls out of the way in the first couple of minutes Charlie so uh, that ball was deemed not to have been thrown in straight at the line out you have to throw it between the two opposing teams um, and if it's uh, seen to go one way or the other, then the ref will uh, call for a scrum. And this time to Lincoln. Very challenging thing to do, really, to throw a ball like that dead straight down the, down the middle. So yes. we have to give credit to the girls when they get it right. So this is a good scrum here, a great turnover by Belmont. Mia Taylor to... Chloe on that wing, right? Yes. Chloe, yeah. And recycled ball. Was that Gretchen making a charge through? Yes. Oh, unlucky. Okay, offside. So, David, offside, how does that work here? This is an interesting one, right? This well, can be confusing. 
It, it is. So I, I think the ref here, he's clearly pointing with his arm there, so he's showing that there was an offside line. So that means, folks, that the ball has um, uh, come to, is stationary. The, 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 the players are... Uh, trying to get back control of the ball so it is either a ruck or a maul and that forms an offside line straight through the middle where the ball is really and what he's signaling there is that Lincoln Sudbury encroached on that line and that's that's an offside in rugby so an unfair advantage to them to to get up into the faces of the opposition and as we said about choices Charlie so here's a, a scrummage choice at a penalty put into Belmont. I think Shelby today is starting here at number nine. So the scrum half is the sort of link between the forwards and the backs. And they start the play here by putting the ball into the scrum. Oh, pick, Picked pick up, up by the number eight. And it's the... And it's, it. it's a score. It's it a is score. a score. Well done. A and I think that score was Lulu Conroy, Charlie. Uh, I believe so. There's a proud dad here right now. So. <laughs> and uh, that was a great, great pickup. It, to be fair to number, what's nice to see as well, the Lincoln Sudbury was actually was looking for that as well, made the tackle, but at that close distance, it was uh, too much to try to stop. There was a lot of momentum rolling forward there, so it was good. There was uh, there was a, a good effort at trying to block that. So, but that puts uh, Belmont on the scoreboard. Yeah. So five points for a try, and uh, now uh, Lucy Cabral with the uh, opportunity chance to add to that another two points with this conversion, and it is good. What? No, it's oh. not. It didn't go through. She gave that a great effort. That was a super kick. Okay, so. Is it worth mentioning that when, when they take the kick after the try that they have to pull it back in a vertical line straight back from an angle, right? So they yes. can't place it or move it into the middle. Um, so it's the further out the try is scored, the kick is taken from further out, which really makes it a very difficult challenge for the kicker. Absolutely, and, and we may see some of those depending how in line they are with the uh, with the camera action today. So, restart here. Lincoln Sudbury, a drop kick. Good one. Gretchen, Gretchen with the kick. Paris. Oh, with the, the good. I think that was oh, no, that safe. wasn't Gretchen, actually, was it? That was... Uh, oh, no, that was Gretchen. Sally, then number four and five. Oh, it's got to be offside. Okay. So that was right in front of us. That was uh, quite accidental, but uh, that player was offside and then interfered with the uh, with the passing of the ball. So that's again another penalty. Now, one of the, the rules here also, right, is when they, um, on a penalty and they kick it into touch, they then receive the ball again to throw it in, so it keeps advantage to the team. Whereas on a, on a normal play, if the team was to kick it into touch, it would go to the other team. Absolutely. So they are... Here we get a great angle here. Alex Townsend with the throw in, and... Yeah, the ref has let that one go. Out. Oh, he let that one. Yep. Okay, good recycling of the ball, Belmont. Every time the ball goes to the ground like this, you may hear people talk about phases. So we, each time this is a new phase. So this is now three or four phases in this in this play. The ball and the time is not going to stop at all. Every time the ball goes down, and here's Alex Townsend, Lucy Cable helping out. Shelby. Digging that ball out, Lulu Conroy. Good run. Good tackle. Yeah, good tackle there. This has been some great recycling by Belmont. Yes. Keeping that ball alive. Nice pick up there. That's uh, Sadie Taylor. Two uh, sisters playing today, Sadie and 
Mia Taylor playing today. I think and Sudbury are putting in some great tackles here, they aren't really they? Are. It's they really super defense. This should be an overlap here. Alex out. <laughs> oh, that's great support. But Lincoln Sudbury are counter rocking. Oh, well done. Yeah. Oh, Belmont got her back. I think Annika Gupta. And the ref is going to award a penalty try. Now, this will baffle many people. Okay, so the ref is also going to give a yellow card. I did not see that. Did you see the infringement? No. So... Uh, Yellow card. Okay, so we've seen some action already here today. So, unfortunately, Charlie and I did not see the infringement. The referee gives a... Uh, nobody quite knows what to do, but there, uh, somebody should tell our players that, that score try has been scored. So, okay. folks, this is a very unusual situation. <laughs> I'm not sure in the time we've been uh, commentating on Belmont Rugby this has happened before. So, the referee d deemed an action by the Lincoln Sudbury player was... Um, such a, such a, uh, I think egregious, 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 that's egregious the word. in nature, that's the right? word. That it stopped a certain try, and in doing so, then he's what, quite within his rights to award a penalty try, deeming that they would have scored already. And it's the same number of points, but it's uh, actually given seven points. You don't need to take a kick. That's why there was even more confusion. Lincoln Sudbury waited behind the line for the kick. And you don't even need to take the conversion. You did in Charlie and on my day, but you don't anymore. <coughs> and so uh, Belmont awarded seven points. To add some insult to injury, the, the player who committed the foul play was then also given a yellow card. So that's ten minutes in the so-called sin bin. So Charlie, you're seeing it all today. This is like uh, a game... A, a, a game yeah, so of... Uh, that we see at the pros play. So, so uh, after that, I think all of that confusion, things are settling down, and, and Belmont are now leading 12 points to zero after getting seven points for that penalty try. Just got a train going by in the background. So, another scrummage right in front of the camera here. And, oh, unlucky, good control. Close. Good tackles. Oh. Yep. So I think there, one of the Belmont players probably tackled while they were still on the ground, I think. And so you have to get back up to your feet. Once you made one tackle, you have to get up to your feet before you can make another. So uh, Lincoln Sudbury now trying to attack. Oh, good. Great run by Aurora <laughs> there on the Lincoln Sudbury side. Emily Chan drives it forward. Oh, yes. And Belmont have gone over and the top. Oh, yeah. Oh. That's great counter rucking. Great support play, Belma. I, I, I. Out the line. Yes, Ali. Ali Caputo now with some wheels. She has real wheels. And the pass oh, off. Well done. Ali. Oh, good tackle. Alex Townsend oh. was right there on her shoulder. That was great yes. support. I think the. Uh, I think it was a, a high tackle. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So that was a good. Yep, it was it was certainly high. No, nothing, nothing more than that. So the referee is signalling a high tackle. So that's a penalty to Belmont. So a high tackle, David, is usually everything above the shoulders, right? Shoulders yes. and below is fine, and and um, anything above because it does seem to add an element of danger into the tackle when yes. it's above that. So 
So Belmont given another chance to uh, attack, another line out. But yes, Charlie, that's and obviously even in a you know some of the, the the rugby that we watch uh, on the TV or go and watch uh, safety now paramount in rugby. So there's a lot of a lot of uh, rule changes over the last few years to try to make rugby an even safer game. Obviously, still a contact sport, very much so a contact sport. But okay. See who comes up with this ball. I think Belmont have managed to secure. Okay, oh, so it's a penalty. Penalty way. So not rolling away there. Not rolling away. So. Yes, I could just see that. Uh, that's uh, just unfortunate for Lincoln Sudbury. So uh, that's a tap penalty you've seen them do that quite often that's a, an adventuresome kind of thing to do Belmont you've sort of seen them right Charlie kicking the ball to touch uh, Lincoln Sudbury deciding to run the ball but unfortunately just when the uh, I don't know which player it was tapped that ball with her foot forward unfortunately then she knocked the ball with her hands as well and so now that's given Belmont opportunity for a scrum I know very unfortunate there tiniest bit forward but this, that's just any time the ball moves forward, it's uh, play is stopped and a scrum is given. So, but I do like the adventure spirit of that. Deep in their yes. own half, taking a running uh, a running penalty. That was uh, I'd like to see a little more of that. So that yes. would be great. You know, absolutely, Charlie. It's uh, there's a certain amount of confidence to do that, which is good, right? We like to see uh, see that in these teams. So. Oh gosh, yes. We should point out, you know, the, these are the biggest rivals, um, or have been at least in the last few years. There's various other rugby-oriented schools who are getting more and more numbers of girls and boys playing rugby. And uh, these two, though, have been arch rivals for the last five years. So it's Ali Caputo with the ball, trying to send it back to her team. Oh. There's Lulu breaking through, Lulu Conroy pulling it down. It's great how the forwards, these pods, so, um, are. Oh, and that's Mia Taylor. Mia Taylor, Taylor oh. through. Good try. She's a very explosive from a standing start, Mia. She really picks yes. up the pace quickly, so very hard to stop. Yeah, no, that was. That was a great work move. So definitely, uh, yeah, definitely a, ri a rivalry between these two. A lot of the girls actually know each other. There's lots of rugby camps that are run where where the girls meet each other and uh, they'll play each other two or three times a season. The last few years they've met also in the final of the MIAA state final. Lucy Cabral here with the kick, and it is over. That's a great kick. So a lot of new faces on the Belmont team this year, right? There's a lot of yep. uh, people who would be first-year varsities, or first time on varsity, I should yes. say. Yes, I so mean, today we don't have uh, only the year of graduation, so we, we can call off a few of the uh, So seniors. Annika would, be, Annika would yes. be a sophomore. We could start, yes. start bottom. <laughs> and then um, there's a whole host of, of juniors. Looks like Tabby's also a, a sophomore on the team. Yeah. Hannah Jacoby is on the team as a sophomore as well on the squad, which is great. Yeah, so only three, only three seniors starting at the moment. Right? Did I read that right? Yes, three yeah. seniors. Alex Townsend. Oh, Lulu Conroy, here's one of them. Liv Mann. Oh, great oh, one, Liv. Good tackle as well. Good run, Liv. You know, one of the, the big secrets, I think, in the game to, to keep the progression going forward is called the offload in the tackle, right? So a lot of times players will get tackled and go down on the ground to form a ruck. Players come over 
But to keep the game and the momentum going, if you can offload that pass in the tackle, and we saw a couple of it there, it really helps the team move forward. So it's a, it's a good thing to watch as the players develop and the game develops. Absolutely, the confidence develops. Knowing where their teammates are and knowing how to support as well, right? Yeah, absolutely. Line out to Lincoln Sudbury. Oh, nice oh, in the nice front. Nice move, very good oh. move. That's unfortunate. The ref. Uh, so he's deeming that the uh, the player there moved actually into this. T you, you've seen from that one that there's a there's a tunnel created between the two teams and. The ref is telling us that at that one, the Lincoln Surrey player moved into that tunnel before the ball was thrown, so giving them an advantage. So this in our Rugby 101 now is a, is a free kick. His arm was bent when he gave that call, so this isn't a penalty as such, but a free kick. So you cannot kick that straight to touch and get much for it. So Belmont with an adventuresome spirit now. Lulu Conroy. I love Shelby pushing the back of the ruck to get at the ball. Going to the right side. He's Mia Taylor again. great the number of phases though Charlie they're able to support they all know what they're doing which position to be in oh Sadie's in Sadie's through oh she's in anything Mia Taylor can do Sadie Taylor can do I think you were making a point there though like they're very this team's very well organized they like for the team that's just come together the last month or two yes. and um Lots of new players playing together today for the first game, and they, they really do feel like they're, uh, they're they understand where they need to be, what their job is out on the field. So, uh, very impressive start by very impressive by the Belmont team. It really is. So here, here we see a good camera angle here on on the angle at which Lucy has to attempt this kick. As Charlie pointed out earlier, that ball placed has to be perpendicular to where the ball was touched down. So the ball has to be with force pushed onto the ground behind the try line and she's got a good kick. No, it's just to the right. Very unfortunate. So Lincoln Sudbury still full of energy. Look at that, running back to the halfway line. So again, it's their drop kick. Are they back to their full 15? Has the 10 minutes of the yellow card been Oh, yes, expired? we didn't explain the, uh, the, the sin bin duration. It's 10 minutes, yeah, so uh, I'm not sure the referee would be keeping that. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, yes, yeah, 15 back. Great. So uh, 15 versus 15. Oh, okay. Oh, Annika, good, wow, good run. But he's great on both sides. The, the, we were talking about Beaumont being well drilled. Lincoln Subway absolutely know where they want to be, where they have to be. It's good to watch a competitive game. But now Beaumont have an overlap. Oh, they lost that ball turned over. Here's something yeah. quick now. Oh, yes. That was good feisty play. Okay, so the referee still had his arm out here, so he, he's uh, letting Lincoln Sudbury run with this ball and, until he believes that, as he does now, an advantage has been gained because that ball went forward from a Belmont player. Oh, good ball inside. That's one of your offloads, Charlie. Now the advantage going back the other way. So uh, that ball was knocked on by Lincoln Sudbury, but instead of closing the...
Okay, that was so. a good passage of play there by Lincoln Sudbury, right? As you said, good support. Everybody knew where they needed to be. They worked well as a team up the blind side. The blind side, how do we say that? On the, on the near side, right? Near side, yes. So scrum to Belmont. Oh, somebody's injured. I think, I think. Oh yeah, Alex Townsend is uh, is injured. So the referees uh, stopped the clock uh, for now. We will be uh, the referee uh, owns the the time on a rugby field. So. Uh, yeah, so we, if, if those of you that might glimpse at the, or if it, it's shown when Jeremy uh, shows the, oh, Alex is coming off, unfortunately. So, uh, unfortunately, uh, a more serious injury for now. So, coming off for some treatment. Did we catch who's coming on? Uh, 24, so who's that today? 24, it's Kelsey. Kelsey's come on. Okay. Kelsey Donaldson. Oh, the good kick in the end. So, uh, so that was the uh, first uh, kick from open play, Charlie. So uh, Lucy did a good one there. She. Uh, I don't think she was, uh, that ball went back into the 22, so we, we won't get into the technicalities of a kick, but from where she was kicking that ball, that ball had to bounce, let's say, before it actually crossed into the touchline. Otherwise, the uh, this line-out, this throw-in, this line-out would have been taken from where the point was Lucy kicked that ball. So, great line-up in front of the camera there, Charlie. Good, yeah. good take by Lincoln Sudbury. Lincoln Sudbury, a lot of phases here, so not making too much ground at the moment, but uh, keeping good control of the ball. Here, the ball coming back to the oh, our side of the field. There's a Lincoln Sudbury, are well known actually, Char Charlie, for the, definitely looking for the offloads, which you can see with this passage of play. Oh, steal! Well recovered there. on there right so that'll be a scrum to, to Lincoln I think it's also like it's interesting you know as you see um, and maybe it's one thing we should just mention here is that when when a player does go go to ground um, either in the tackle or uh, actually in the tackle their job is to roll away they have to get yes. out of the way as quick as possible which isn't easy when you have four or five people coming piling in on top of you so Credit to these these players here who are making a gallant effort to get out of the way in those uh, as that rock is forming. Yeah, no, that's. Uh, I think back in our day we would just lie lie there and as lie long as you could until <laughs> Tuesday. <laughs> Catch a breather, I think, <laughs> while the rest of the gang were running around. Yes. So I think uh, though that rule has helped clear up the game and speed it up a bit as well. So it's good. Yep. Just. Uh, Referee just having a quick word with the uh, coach from uh, Lincoln Sudbury. Mm. Not quite sure what this is, right? No, but uh, the coaches know each other very well as well, and uh, both sets of coaches are for sure. Uh, uh, 
I've dedicated many, many years and countless hours to uh, devoted those hours to the uh, coaching of girls on both of these teams. Just running through the LS roster, and we'll, we'll carry on with some of the Belmont ones later on. So in the front row uh, is Jen, Amelia, and Aurora. So they are at the front of this scrum, locking horns with the uh, Belmont three at the front. Lincoln Sabri with a good tackle. Oh, good pick up. Oh, she's through. So, so the ref actually has his hand out here for advantage to Lincoln Sabrina. So I think Charlie must have been in uh, reflecting on the on the rolling away i'm pretty sure he's going to signal that the no. it is back where that rock formed so it's something yeah uh, or maybe using their hand is that right you yeah use using your hand. hand maybe in the <laughs> rock yes yeah. so uh, yeah so at this point lincoln Subbury are probably going to carry on their adventuresome uh, antics and and tap this ball Tackle. 22, Samira. Samira is the, the player that came on for Lincoln Sudbury to join the pack. We didn't see who went off. But, oh, Belmont got the ball back. Ah. Side there, I think that signal is. Yeah, I don't, I'm not sure he's uh, putting his hand to his throat, but uh, maybe. Oh, no. quick tap. Oh, quick tap, but not from the point. So, uh, Lincoln Sudbury there, just a little quick with uh, taking that penalty for the ref's liking. Still carrying. Oh, they. That is good tackling from Belmont. So, that's uh, two or three times they've got close to the line. Oh, oh, and an Ali. intercept. Ali, Ali. Oh. Ali's almost away. Oh, it's in touch. It's in oh. touch. The excitement here is <laughs> <laughs> electric. It's electric. Of course, normally there'd be uh, the boys and girls uh, teams uh, come and support each other. Today, the boys are playing away, and I can't remember where they're at uh, today. Um, so there's normally the, both, uh, both rosters, both uh, players... Uh, number in the 70 or 80 players for both the girls and the boys or 60 or 70 at least players in both the boys and the girls programs here which is a phenomenal number okay Belmont I think have got the ball back yes nice kick that was sensible play. So, relieving some pressure there. Lucy Cable doing the good job, kicking the ball as far up the field as she can. So now that's uh, a Lincoln Sudbury throw line out at the, uh, where's that? The 30, 30 yard line, I guess, for football fans. That the counter rooking, as you say, when Lincoln go in with the ball, the expectation is they're rooking it out, or Belmont go in, the expectation is they're rooking it out. But the the counter rook, the term that's used to, you know, for the defensive team to steal the ball in that rook, is, uh, is a very difficult thing to do. And we've yeah. seen a couple of them on both sides today. So 
Yes. You know, very skilled maneuvers by these teams, being able to get over the ball to steal it. Cause and, and to have the now and where with and understanding to do it. That's right. I mean, you've got to understand the game pretty well to... Oh, that's also in touch, so... You know, just to sort of talk through that counter rucking, you really need to have your body over the player on the ground with the ball. You can't just lean in and, you know, dive on the ball and try and smother it. So it takes a lot of strength and skill and, uh, and great teamwork. So really good effort by these two teams in, in uh, having a few of those steal opportunities. Belmont with the throw. And it's well taken by Sage. And, oh, that good take. Catch. Oh, stolen there. Oh, ref has seen an infringement. Uh, not letting, not releasing probably at that point. So a uh, Lincoln Sudbury player was uh, tackled, but then it, uh, the Belmont players are judged not to have released that player when they got on the ground. So and here they are again to take the quick kick. Oh. I think. Well, Ali I did think a nice pick up there on the bounce, but. Yes, I think Lincoln Sudbury were. I think, you know, they thought the game was up. So we see that in the professional game a lot. I think they were kicking the ball out to get for the halftime whistle. But uh, what is the half here, David? Is it 30 minutes, it's 35 it's minutes? It's, uh, I was convinced it was 35 minutes, and we're just showing 35 now. Perhaps the ref had indicated to the players, as he will do, if you could ask the referee uh, nicely and politely, they can tell you how many minutes are left. And that was not straight. So he was actually giving the choice. We should have mentioned that as well. If you need any more rules explained today, I'm not sure, but <laughs> with, the, with the line out not being straight, uh, yeah, the, the, the team against, uh, who are, for whom the, the, uh, the infringement was against um, have a choice, actually. You can either have a line-out or a scrum. This, this time, Lincoln Sudbury chose to have the line-out. And here they go again. Oh, good tackle there. There was that a counter racket right, right in front of the camera, really Charlie. fantastic yeah. work by the team. Just shifts the whole momentum of the game, doesn't it? Yes. So Beaumont again beginning to build the phases. So they pretty well soaked up a lot of pressure there for five or ten minutes from Lincoln Sudbury. And the tackle. The and there's Anika Gupta making a breakthrough. Yes. Nicely set up. Oh, that's got to be offside, yeah. Yeah. So the ref, again, it wasn't foul play, but the Lincoln Sudbury player was in the way now. Lincoln said we think it's their ball. It isn't. So, uh, yes. Oh. So here they, uh, you can see that Lucy's asking how many minutes. But I think on a penalty, you can't end the no, play, so right? No, so I think so they're deciding between them to tap it and kick it oh, or... But now there's so much time left that they're just going to kick it. So, right. So, even if the full time is up and there's a penalty, um, the play will continue until the ball goes dead at some other phase, right? So, yes. a penalty kick is not considered a 
end of the game or a dead dead phase of the ball. So that's why we're still playing on a bit longer. <laughs> this could technically go on all night. <laughs> Let's hope it does. <laughs> well, there it is. We're guaranteed a second half anyway, folks. Uh, that was a good uh, steal in the end from Lincoln Sudbury, who gained in confidence, I think, Charlie, in the last uh, 10 or 15 minutes. Which is good for the game. Very good. Still, oh, lovely strip there by... Is that that's, Mia? Uh, that's Mia Taylor, yeah. It's the outside centre she's playing today. Oh, yeah. That hurt, hit her feet there, Lucy, I think. The ref was very close to it. Nice ball. Holding on, so. Oh, not from the. Yeah, I think the that. player came in from the side there. I think that's yes. what that, that penalty was. So, folks, it may sound lo like a lot of rules. If you've been playing long enough, oh, here they, they're considering what to do. Yes. Um, Seem a lot of rules, but uh, we've, we've seen a lot of them in this half. <laughs> and we've broken a few of them in our playing days. <laughs> so. <laughs> this would be the time when if we could get listener feedback to tell us just we've explained enough rules and just focus on the game. <laughs> that would be wonderful. Lincoln Severy with another good line out. Oh, and, oh, it went backwards, went backwards. Good tackle. Sorry. Okay, knock on, so it's a scrum. Yeah, that's the end of the game. So, end of the half. The end of the half, yeah. That's really beautiful. It is. So how long have you been playing rugby? I started sophomore year. So it's been, this is my third year. Gosh, okay. So, um, and uh, you you love the game straight away. Oh, yeah. The game, the people, everything about it. Um, I'm going to college for it. So four <laughs> more years of rugby. But at least four more years of rugby. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's Good. the hope. To remind us, how many players uh, do we have in the girls program at Belmont? <sighs> I think we have around 50 this year. Gosh. Yeah. It's always fun to have so many numbers. It shows on the field. I mean, it's great to have subs and so many options. It is. No, fantastic. Well, we should get back to a little bit of the play, so feel free to to give some thoughts and comments on what you see out there. <laughs> of course. And, uh, but at the moment, as normal, Belmont recycling the ball a lot. So yeah. a lot of time spent recycling the, uh, the ball, these phases of play, right? Belmont and Lincoln, to be fair, but conscious to support the player with the ball, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we have a very particular pattern to just help us make choices on the field. Everybody knows their role? Yeah, I mean, everybody can tweak out of it. It's not like a script, but it's nice to know what to do and when to do it. Yes, and how you can be most effective out there. Exactly. Was the mood of the, the coaches happy with the performance so far? Did you pick that up? <laughs> I mean, there's always happiness in some things to be fixed. But yes, I think I think There's the always improvement you can exactly. make. Exactly. Right? Good. So this is a uh, Lincoln uh, scrum. We didn't uh, call out the names of the Lincoln backs. We did uh, the forwards and the full team for Belmont. Well, there have been a couple of subs, right? So I think Chloe yeah, uh, has, has come up and Hannah has come Hannah, on in her yeah. place. But uh, Lincoln Sudbury now with a good break. Number 14 on the ball. Oh. Catherine Negrelli with the ball. We've seen her pop up quite a few times or uh, over the field. Uh -huh. And here she is again. Yeah, she's 
Yeah, she's, she's fast good. and sneaky. She runs around. So, Vala, you and uh, some of the other players in Beaumont certainly know some of the Lincoln Subbury players. Yeah, I mean, we see them all around programs in mass. It's I, kn- I know most up. of these girls. Yeah. You know a lot of the girls, yeah. So yeah. That's, that makes it both good from a fun perspective knowing them, but also a competitive edge. Exactly, yeah, for sure. That's Lily. I've played <laughs> for her a lot. Uh. Yeah, Lily, number eight. It's <laughs> it used to be my position, so it's always fun to see her in there. Yes. She was a flanker last year. So that's uh, number six and seven. Yes. We've uh, and here she's going again. Yeah, she's she's strong, hard to it's put oh, to ground. Great, great, uh, great pickup then. Oh yeah, that and was then, uh, beautiful. Yep. Oh and oh Shelby. Shelby. <laughs> So that's a, that's great scrum half play. She saw a gap and darted uh-huh. for it. Number four and five for Belmont today. That's oh, yeah, uh, crazy. Yeah. It's Sally, well. and Gr- Sally and Gretchen. Sally and Gretchen today, yeah. They've had a lot of uh, play being expected to be. Mm-hmm. Carry the ball quite a lot. Yeah, they're very strong. And she's like one of them again. That's Gretchen. Oh, Lincoln Subbury managed to steal that ball. I didn't see that one. Oh, and they Lucy Cable's coming rocks. back again. Okay. So it must have been a knock-on. Oh, yeah. So there's a substitution there. Come to number 21 coming on. So that's uh, Madison Maltby is coming on. And Samira, number 22, is going, going off. Up, yeah. And also for Belmont, is a swap. So, uh, oh, num- that's Rowan for Sally. Rowan is coming Rowan on is for coming Sally. Rowan is coming on for Sally, but... I, they might s- change around the scrum. Mm-hmm. Oh, never it mind. Looks like Rowan is going straight, S- straight yeah. swap into second row yeah. with uh, with Gretchen. Yes. So just running through the rest of the um, of the backs for uh, Lincoln Sudbury, if they're still on the field. Number nine, yes, Chloe's still there. Nora Lee is at number ten. I played with her before too. <laughs> uh, look, number eleven. I can't see any more numbers anymore, but Macy Smith is or was number 11. 12 as Anna Karkis. Yeah. We've seen her pop up with the ball quite a lot. And and these are the centers, number 12 and number 13. And 13 is Sarah Aitchison. Yeah. And then on the wing, uh, we've mentioned her already, Catherine yeah. Negrelli on one wing. And, and fullback is Carly Robinson. She's on. That's great. So, uh, Val, looking forward to these. Obviously, the first game. So, how many games are there this year, roughly speaking? I I would say six. Six we games. We play LS twice always. One home, one away. Yep. And then we play Arling, uh, Algonquin, Weymouth. Needham this year. Needham. Playing? Maybe one other. I think perhaps. I yeah. think one more. Yeah. Yeah. So, good half dozen games, two of them against Lincoln Sudbury. The last few years, Lincoln Sudbury, you've played also in the final. Oh, yeah. So, we're looking forward for a, would it be a four-peat now, perhaps? Repeat, three-peat, four, four times, <laughs> I maybe? I think so, probably. Okay, maybe five. <laughs> okay, Lincoln Sudbury here set up. We should uh, get back to a little bit of the game. Here's this scrum set up right in the middle of the field. So, uh, this gives the attacking team lots of opportunities here, because there's big spaces both sides. Lincoln Sudbury have secured the ball and are going to the left. It also happened to be where Belmont defenders were, so that's worked out well. That's number 11 with the ball. That's uh, Macy Smith. That's Lily again with the ball. Yep. Oh, good run. That's number oh, good tackle as well in the end. Nora Lee. Yes, that was a good run by the number 10 from Lincoln Sudbury. Lincoln Sudbury looking for the score here, obviously. Good tackle. Is that uh, Annika, Annika up from yeah. the line quickly? Great line speed. Oh, and a drop Lock. there from yeah. Nora Lee.
So, unfortunately there, Nora threw the, uh, knocked the ball forward. And so now it's a, uh, it's a scrum to Belmont. Yeah, it's always a good opportunity. I'm expecting a kick so close to our... Yeah, I think Lucy's going to kick. So Val, do you want to get back to your team, or you? Uh, you yeah, can stay I, up here? I love cheering. You so love cheering. Okay, I think well, I'm going to go back to the sideline. Well, but you, it was you, great. To you be called here. that correctly as well. <laughs> Lucy Cable with the excellent kick. So this might be an ideal opportunity while the ball's out. Val, thanks very much. Good luck for the rest Thank of the season. You. Thanks for Thank joining you. us up thanks, here. Thanks, guys. <laughs> So, Chuck, what was it like from the cheap seats, Chuck? <laughs> <laughs> it was great, David, thank you. And I'm sure you had a far more intelligent conversation with Val than you have had with me for the first half. Well, actually, than I've had with you for the last 20 years I've known you, Okay, so that ball was not straight. So uh, we did manage to rattle through all the teams. So uh, hopefully everybody's got a mention that uh, is out there at the moment. And if any subs come on, we'll be sure to do the same. I haven't seen quite as many of the uh, the rules uh, in play, uh, Charlie, uh, you know, being a bit more free-flowing than the beginning of the first half, so that's good. So that ball was not straight, so uh, as we said at the end of the first half, Belmont have the choice here. So they've gone for the scrum. Often people would choose uh, where their advantage lies. Most people would take the scrum knowing that they were going to, you know, in all likelihood get the ball back. Line out is a little bit more variable I do think you know as I was sitting down amongst the some of the parents down here it was um, noticeable they were saying some of the uh, intensity of the play from Lincoln who really kept at it and really yes. started uh, connecting well as well so this is uh, well, it's exciting really to watch exciting a game like game, this yeah. good tackle and some really 11. big tackle save I'm like <laughs> I don't remember ever making tackles as big no. as this when I played, so uh, <laughs> I have full credit to both teams. They really yeah. have got that technique down very well. Yep. Recycling the ball still from Belmont. Always a forward there ready to uh, take on the challenge of running straight at the opposition, which is which is great. Belmont still recycling the ball. Lucy out to Mia. Ali Caputo. Oh, nice little sidestep there to come inside. Yes. Oh, up quickly there. That was good. Oh, nice. That's uh, Hannah. Hannah. Yes, number 18, right, Hannah's. Oh, no, that's Rowan on. Rowan. Wow, that was a great offload there. I think to Shea, right, who just took it forward. <coughs> oh. Oh, that's Liv Mann. Constant recycling of the ball. I mean, this yes. is just great teamwork here. That was Sally, is it? Yeah, she's on, and uh, to Rowan came on for Gretchen. Uh, Gretchen. Yeah. Okay. Oh, knock forward there. But again, that's uh, another ten phases of the play. So uh, Lincoln Sudbury now making a couple of subs. We'll see the same probably from uh, Belmont as well in a minute. So who's coming on? Number sixteen for Lincoln is Holly. Holly Haas. Looks like and, and Mia. Galotti, number at 17. 17. So, uh, some fresh legs to come in and uh, yeah. play out the rest of the game. And for Belmont, Claire. Claire. Claire Hotyak. Yes, Claire Hotyak has come on at 17. So, she has come on to replace uh, in the centres uh, Olivia Mann. Okay, so Lincoln Sudbury with the uh, with the put in, and uh, oh, I no, nope, the ball Big has push. come out. Big push from Belmont then, but Lincoln Sudbury in their venturesome spirit of running the ball out from their own 22.
I'll tell you, like, we we watch a lot of rugby, right? Um, it's it's kind of a big passion for us, and I think the style of game we're seeing here, you see all the time, is just these little pods of ball, carrying it forward, recycle. Yes. Carry forward, recycle. That's great there. Great work. It really, it really From is. From Aurora Silvestro. That was super work. Stayed on our feet, kept driving forward. Um, and unfortunately, just uh, stepped into into touch. No, you're absolutely right, Charlie. The, 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 the dynamics of the game at, at, at this young age and in experience, it's, it's phenomenal. It, so here's a line out, 24. So uh, Looks like we might have an injury, though, I think. Oh, okay, that's Sally. Sally is, is down uh, on her knee. Yeah. Yes, we're just uh, waiting for the uh, physio trainer to come on. Oh, but Sally has uh, made her way off because number 20 now is uh, coming on. 20 is Abby Hill. So Abby is going into the... Uh oh, great catch great by catch. Sage. Oh, a loop there from... Uh about how unlucky. To knock forward. So we're up to uh, maybe around 20 minutes. So it's a scrum down. It's Belmont ball. It's uh, Lincoln Surrey ball. So uh, we might have about 15 minutes left. This is a much tighter half, more evenly balanced between the two teams. I think there's a lot of to and fro here. Yes, no, very much so. It's... Uh, Everybody finding their feet in the first half and uh, Belmont coming out on top, but it has been pretty, as you said, even in the second half. Amir Taylor tries all at the moment that uh, splits the two teams. Play on, play on. Ah. So there the player knew that uh, she dropped the ball and it probably had gone forward. At least scrums don't take as long in they do in the professional game, Charlie. Uh, this, this small break in the in the play here, while uh, the uh, ball is put into the scrum, is uh, just a matter of seconds compared to uh, the minutes it sometimes takes to set that up. So Belmont with the ball. That ball is out. Go. So Belmont fixed back into the pattern, running the ball up straight. Good tackle, good run actually, gosh. Oh, Lucy oh, found nice a gap, steps. that's great. She's gonna be in, she's gonna be in. No, oh, great oh. tackle there. But the, the team are there to support her. Shelby yes. pick and run, just shy of the line. I think, yeah, penalty, yeah. yeah. I thought that was going to happen. We could see from her body movement there, folks. The referee didn't see it a, 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 to begin with, but he, uh, he understood that Shelby, when tackled there, you can, you're can you allowed to make one more launch for the line with the ball. But if you do that and miss the line, then, then you're judged to have uh, been playing the ball on the ground and you are given a penalty against you. Great run there by uh, Lucy Cabral. She noticed a gap and went for it. So now we. So a, Lucy is a junior this year, right? So she's. Uh, yeah, Lucy's a junior. Yep. So uh, of this, just uh, Campbell. Oh no, a senior. Oh no, sorry. Yes, it's interesting. Year of graduation for Lucy is not correct. Is not correct because it no. was last year. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but Lucy, Lucy, I think she is a junior. She is a junior for sure. I, I, yes, she's a junior. Um, the seniors are just uh, Campbell and Sage and Lulu Conroy. Yes, as we uh, mentioned. So very young team. Uh, last year, and I, I think it's. 
it's true, Lincoln said we pretty much the same balance. They had a lot of seniors in last year's team as well, and so did we. And so they're going through the cycle of the uh, transitioning to new players, which they seem to have done brilliantly at the moment. So Belmont with the ball, with the put into this scrum. Oh, good take. Oh, nice loop run around there. Oh, and she's oh, in. She's in. It must be one of the tailors. <laughs> <laughs> so that was Mia, I think, that time. Yeah, because we can see Sadie at the moment. Yes, I think Mia would have made her way out to that winger, yeah. It looks like Mia might be playing full back now in this half, and Sadie's moved to the wing. I think it yes, is. Yes, I think it is, yeah. yeah they've, so. they've swapped up a little bit. Now, we did notice that she didn't have the opportunity there, but uh, as Charlie was commenting on the, on the first half, uh, she ran underneath the post to score her try the last time. And uh, this time she wasn't given the opportunity to try to give Lucy the easier kick. So now Lucy has a tough kick from near the try line. Oh, is that not? A, that was a good welly, but uh, unfortunately, I don't think that went over. No, I think it didn't. Yeah, she gave it a great kick from the side she did. there. It was very impressive, but it just fell short at the end. So. A few more uh, practice hours on the field, and she'll be knocking them in regularly. Yes. So. <laughs> I think the thing I like about this uh, this game the most with the with the teams here and this whole league as a as a whole, like you know, they'll they'll play hard against each other for uh, for the 80 minutes on the 70 minutes on the field, and at the end of the game they're like sharing <laughs> pizza with each other, having a bit of fun, and uh, which is what it's really all about. Oh, so exactly. I think yeah, the spirit great. of these of these teams is, is just great. Yeah, and that's uh, and that's happening in. You know the ethos in every rugby game, isn't it, Charlie? Cross even even when you see professionals afterwards, most of what happened on the field is forgotten, and uh, definitely the same with these girls. And as Val was saying earlier on, how many of the girls are known to each other? Uh, you know, particularly on these two teams, because because of the the regularity they play with each other and just the yeah, league, and the, the, league, the tightness of the leagues, yeah, and the camps. Yeah. Yeah. That's great. That's really great. The Sadie. Okay, she's in touch. Nope. No, it's not. That's Annika. So she, I think Annika, this is her first year playing, maybe. Um, she's had a lot of those surging runs up the middle. She's done great. Number 19. Uh, number 19. Tabby. Tabby. Tabby Kambasa is on, number 19. Yes, it's great that all the subs have come on and, uh, and just fitted nicely into the uh, into the play. Lucy Cable going in there to take the ball. Oh, Sadie. So that was uh, Campbell. Oh, and. Number 24 has scored. Kelsey. There's Kelsey. Well done, Kelsey. Yes, yes. I think the folks thought perhaps it was a penalty. The uh, Unfortunately, the, the arm signal from the ref for a penalty, not just this ref, all refs, is very similar. A try is straight up in the air, and the... Uh, Signal for a penalty is uh, at an angle. <laughs> so 
So Lucy with a slightly easier kick. This one. And straight through. Great well done. kick. Yeah, she's uh, got a. She gets great distance on the ball boots. on the she kick, does. doesn't she? She does. It's very good. It's, uh, well, the easiest thing to do in the world, particularly when the angle's in, in uh, taken into a consideration. You would have kicked one or two of those in your day, back in the day, would you? Maybe? <laughs> <laughs> the easier ones. <laughs> right, so Lincoln Sudbury though with the opportunity to kick. We just need a ball now, unfortunately. So Lincoln Sudbury substitute here has a ball, but it needs to go onto the field. Here it goes. So now there's two. That often happens in rugby. <laughs> there, was, there was one, there was zero or two. So here's Lincoln Sudbury again with the dropout. Is this Nora restarting still? Yeah. Oh, no, I think it's not. No, oh, 17 has gone on. So uh, that's one of those subs we saw, Mia. Mia, okay, right. Yes, because number 10, uh, she it's actually left the field, yeah. Oh, Lucy. Oh, she she's darting through. Look at this. Tackling the end, but what a great uh, run there by Lucy. Rowan is now getting in on the action. Here's Annika again. You're right, Charlie. She's put in an awful lot of leg work today. Oh, and... 24. Oh, it's Kelsey again, yes. And Lulu is held up just in front of the line, so this ball should come back again from Belmont, and yes, another score. So that is... Might might have been Lucy herself, actually, yes, because Lu she still has the ball. So uh, so Lucy Cabral then over in the corner to give herself a, a difficult kick. So five minutes here left. There's 46 to zero. The score. I think Lucy set that one up with her darting run up the middle, right? Uh, yes. Set the play up and... Um you know, show, show, showing her foot skills there as well. So, an all around great game for Lucy in that out half position, or fly half, I should say. Yes. Oh, she got it. Well wow. done. That is a great kick. That yeah, really is. I think Johnny Sexton in Ireland would be pleased with that one, I think, David, huh? <laughs> she was the, you could see actually how determined she was to get one from out wide. That's super. Those points in obviously a closer game, those two points often prove to be vital. But here Lincoln Sudbury the chance again to kick off. Okay, so Belmont played that ball. Uh, it's uh, always a wee bit strange for people, Charlie. I think sometimes that the team against which the points were scored, rugby I think might be the only game at which you, you then have to kick the ball away back to the team that just scored against you. Right, right. So um, I guess that might be the only sport where that happens. Right, unlike football, right, where the team that scores um, kicks it, right, back to yes, the other team. you kick the other team, yeah. and <coughs> good run, good tackle. Pizza's just being delivered, so uh, that signals the <laughs> towards the end of the game. Oh, knock on there. <coughs> 
Hopefully there's a spare piece for the erstwhile commentators here tonight, David. <laughs> really? Really? Or, 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 or the or, cameraman. Or cameraman. Who's done a great job this evening, keeping, keeping the game in sight for everybody. So Belmont with a line-out. We haven't seen many line-outs in the second, not too many line-outs in the second half. So uh, <coughs> it's Kelsey with the put-in. Oh, oh, and steal, steal it. But oh. Annika was quick on her feet then. Okay, so but she was uh, she knocked the ball on, so the ref will come back for a scrum. Yeah, just as she went to try and pick up that loose ball, it just tapped it forward, and of course, knocking the ball on will will give advantage to the other team or come back for a scrum. So, no advantage gained. We come back for a scrum, and it's a Lincoln Lincoln put in. We should say that uh, I remember back to last season and, and perhaps in the first game of the season, uh, although the, the, the score is doesn't necessarily reflect how close the two teams are today, but um, the final between Lincoln Sudbury and Belmont was the, the closest game. Well, it was a very, very close game. Very exciting game. Very Not a high-scoring game, but very exciting. Okay, penalty here. I don't think first game in the season will be reflective of anything, to be honest, on, no. uh, as your, your point being, that uh, these teams really just get the cobwebs knocked out of them. Both teams here showing great structure, and great movement, great tackling, great rocking. So Yeah, on by both teams, it's been yeah. a fantastic opener. It's going to be another good, se good, uh, good season for the, the girls' uh, rugby here. Okay, Belmont ball, that uh, kick was a penalty kick. Do you know, are the for the MIAA, is there like different regions or how does it work in the girls? Or is there just one region that... No, I, M Massachusetts, so okay. it's only, it's within the, I think there was some talk of perhaps playing teams in other um, states, but no, the... Uh, it's just these six teams that are in the uh, competition in, in the whole of Massachusetts, really, on the girls' side. Not too many more teams uh, in the boys, a few more. A surging oh. run there. Yeah. Uh, Tabby. Oh, and number 20, nearly in. We can't quite see the line there, Charlie, it's actually. Abby, but yeah. it's, uh, oh, skip pass. And, oh, yes. She gave it says number 11. So that was uh, Ali. indeed Ali again. So she's probably. Did she score in the first half? I can't quite remember. I think she may have been involved in when the penalty try was given. I think she may have. Yes, that's right. Might have been that hers. Might have been down there. So. Okay. So the time is uh, time is up on the clock here. But as we have definitely said, the referee is the uh, ultimate timekeeper here. Lucy determined to get this. Uh, Another really one tight last kick well for her. Yeah. Oh, oh, hit the par, hit the bar. Hit the cross and that bar. is the game. So, Charlie, thank you very much. What a great game here we've witnessed today, the first game of the season of the new girls' Belmont 2023 rugby season. Screams of joy here uh, after a hard fought one, 53 0, but it uh, doesn't tell the whole story. Uh, Lincoln Sudbury, great team today. Jeremy, thank you. Belmont Media. And uh, as ever, and we'll see you again in the coming weeks, both the boys' and girls' games. Thanks very much. Thanks, Thank Charlie. You. Have a good night. Thank you.